M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're on the Anytone 878 UV2, the model that has APRS, RX, and TX. I had a question about how do I like to set my buttons, my sort of programmable buttons on my Anytone 878. So I thought I'd show you. We'll go to options here, then we'll go over to key function. Now these are the functions that I like to have on my radio, and I'll, I'll show a couple of them to you. So if you look at the right hand button here is the P2 button. If I press it once, it goes straight to VFO. And so I like to know that I can just put it into VFO mode very quickly. I press it again, it's back into channel mode, which is what you would see when you program your code plug. Now if I, ho if I hold it down, it will go to the A band and the B band. So hold it down, that's A band, B band. Now the P1 button here on the left, if I press it once, that does APRS digital send. So I like to know I can send APRS really quick. If I hold it, then it turns the sub channel off. So I can just, just it basically changes it to single receive. So I find that useful. Hold it again, sub channel on. So now we can view both. Now the button on the top, the, on this radio, it's the the sort of bluey green button, which used to be very green, but now it's bluey green. And the button before that was was blue, and I think the one before that was red. But anyway, if I press it once, and this is the called so this is called the PF actually the PF three button. So let's push it once, and it's changing the power. Quite hard to see. You've got low, medium, and high, and then the turbo power. Now if I hold it. We would go into Digi Monitor, and that's basically promiscuous mode. So we hold it. Normally, you have a little red speaker show. I'm not sure why it's not showing now, but you hold it once. Digi Monitor double slot, so you're going to listen to both time slots. Hold it again. It's off, and hold it again. Then it's single slot. Okay, it's basically promiscuous mode. It lets everything through. Okay, then we've got the obvious one, the PTT. That just does what it should do. Now, on, on these radios, if you hold down the hash button, actually the zero button, sorry, you can directly put in a talk group. So I could type in now a number, let's say it's 91, transmit, and at the moment it's private, but if I push hash, it becomes group mode. I'll just do that again because it was in analog mode. So we'll just hold down the zero. We can now type a talk group and then we select it's, it's it's talk group there but push hash private talk group private is like you you would type something like 4000 a command or a per, or direct to a person hash talk group 91 and then when you key you will join that talk group and you can set the hang time within the settings on the radio to to, to keep you on and the hang time i believe is if you look here on digital functions, you've got optional settings, digital digital functions, and look, you've got hang times here, and I've set them to infinite. It just means that when you key, you'll, sort of, you'll stay on that talk group instead of reverting back to the channel that's programmed on the radio. Right, look at some other buttons. So the button underneath the PTT, will press it once, and that GPS on, or off. It's on, you can see the emblem there, and I've got the upgraded logo that looks like a like a little satellite rather than just a, a a red diamond. And there's GPS off, on off, and if I hold it, then we go straight to scanning. There's no scan list in, but I hold it for scanning. Then if we the one the second one down or third button down, hold it down. Now press it once, Bluetooth on. Press it again, Bluetooth off. If I hold it down, sub channel on. I like that one. It's basically, again, simplex mode. So that's pretty much how I do my buttons. I mean, the keypad, as you know, works as a DTMF keypad. And all you do for that is just literally hold the PTT and dial. And that's DTMF. A lot of screen is on, a lot of information is on the screen. Now, the other thing I like to do is if you watch mine turn on and off, I like to set a boot picture. So I'll just turn that on. And you'll see my, my personal boot picture as the radio comes on. There you go. And how do I set that? So all you do is close that window, you go 
tools, boot image, then select open, go to where you've stored a boot image, I've got that one that you can see here on my computer, double click, click OK, it will show you the picture, then you just write it to the radio. Now you do have to tell it to use that, so the other thing I like to do is optional settings on the left, I like to go to power on mode, see at the top here I like to select custom picture, at the top, I, if you want, it says here, welcome any tone. I could, you know, I could add there M0FXB if I want, just as the welcome thing. Um, whenever you do any of this, you keep saving here, up here, once you've finished. So I like it to boot up on the A section to my hotspot. So you select hotspots here, start up zone A, and then I go to talk group 91. So you start up zone A and then you select the talk group. Then underneath that I like the, the, the sub band or the B band to go to my hubnet channels which are analog as my hubnet node in my house and then I choose one of my nodes, I've got two nodes in this house and that's analog. Start up reset, I always turn that on because you need that if you ever do a factory reset. So that's it, so when it boots up that's what we see and I make sure you turn off the start up GPS test. The other one is the volume is quite important. I do like my volume to be set quite low, so I've got this one set on number one. But you can actually go one lower where you set it to indoors, uh, because most of the time I'm in the house, I don't really need to change the other ones, don't use them. And so I think that's about everything that I set. Alert, Vox, Display. These are the colors I've set. You know, you can see the colors on my screen. I like a mixture, you've got green, red, yellow, orange. So have a look here, freeze it if you want to copy these ones green, then receive background delay, just, just copy this yellow, red, orange, uh, display channel type on, display time slot on, display color code, I like lots of information, date format, volume bar on because you can actually turn that off, uh, brightness, I've got that low because of the camera, if it wasn't because uh, of this camera I would have it on about three, uh, auto backlight duration always on, backlight delay, I've, done, I've turned that off, menu exit time, I've got it for 15, Time display on, last caller, yeah, I want to see that, call display mode, call sign display color, more colors there, call M prompt, prompt box, I actually like that on, because the more things that are happening on the screen, I like, you just, I just enjoy it, so I'll leave that on, actual channel number, display channel number, Is a, you can display the number or the sequence number in the zone, yeah. Display current contact on, standby, character color, I've got that, as it. it actually says white. Standby back picture, that's quite important because if you see that mine's got this sort of background, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it's got green, blue and red, and then it's got like a nice design. You need to tell it to use that, and I'll just show you how I selected it, how I imported that. But so you want that to custom, I've imported it as custom one, because you can actually change from one to the other. So custom one there where it says standby BK picture. And I'll just show you how you import that. You go uh, Tools, Standby Back Picture, and then click Open Image. And then with the firmware that you get for your Anytone, they will always include a file that is full of screens, like so. So you get that for free. And uh, you can change it as you feel, which is I do, actually. Sometimes I put that nice light blue one on, uh, which looks pretty funky. So I select it now just for fun, and then I'll show you, and then we'll end the video. So we'll go Open Image. 878, let's select the nice funky blue one, which is like the old fashioned way when it was the 868. Uh, so we'll double click a uh, nice, very obvious light blue one. Click OK, and then we'll write to the radio. Click OK. Need to select the communication port, so your device manager. Okay, just close that down a minute. Select the port, which you just go right click, device manager double click ports and I'm on we need to plug the cable in so let me just plug that in a minute cable is in program then we go set com well, I know we're on 11 click OK then we'll go tools standby back picture it's already in there right to the radio click OK it's only in the background Click OK. And when it boots up, you're going to see the background that I've added as my boot up pick, which is myself. 
And it's quite fast. And what I like about it is when you're transferring data between the radio and the PC, very rare have I ever seen a glitch where with other radios you get glitches and some information is slightly changed. So there's the cool um, sort of blue background picture. And then I'll just show you that those programmable wall buttons are in the menu. So you go menu, down to settings, then it'll be radio set, not channel. Keep going down, key function. And look, there they all are there. And if you select one, you'll see something that I've selected. And, that, and, 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 and then a list that you can select from. And that's it. So otherwise, have fun with your Anytone 878. Catch you on air. Thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. 73.